Hey guys, Ben and Nintendo79 here. I'm gonna bring to you today a quick video just showing you guys my blade collection and maybe, you know, giving you guys some details about the blade. Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell on your big screen because in my uh, small viewfinder, I, it's a little bit harder to tell even though I, I know because, you know, these are my blades. So, uh, but there's some blades you get twins in there, so you get two of the same blades. So when I really like a blade and if I get a good deal on it, like the Kershaw Camp man, if I were in the States, I would buy um I would buy two of these Kershaw Camps man. Two more I mean, so I got three total because as of now it is one of my favorite blades. So spoilers, so uh, this is one of my favorite blades right now, fixed blades. So I included the Tomahawk in the, it's this fixed blade video because it's kind of a fixed blade, so uh, I'm gonna start from the top and sh going down the uh, just the, the field. So uh, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about the knives. Uh, this is the Mtech MT uh, 096. Uh, you know, small little blade. At, well, small eight inches. So nice size blade. I think I paid 14 or 15 dollars for it on Amazon. I think it was one of the last ones in stock. I think they were liquidating their inventory. I don't know why because where else are you gonna get a 15 16 dollar blades so I just ordered another one it's similar to the to the mtech but it's not that model it's a different model with a drop point uh, exact same blade design uh, same handle same guard same coating on it so instead of being mtech it's a uh, sco supply but I, I'm sure it comes from the same factory it's got the exact same blade the exact same material the exact same coating on it from what I saw in the picture so it's gonna be the exact same and I'm gonna show it to you guys and I'm gonna do a small comparison when I receive it uh, it's gonna arrive tomorrow by the way so it might be another video tomorrow so um, really nice blade I'm gonna show you guys something all right this is something I'm seeing on YouTube and it's just annoying the hell out of me every time there is a uh, you know a sharpening video or a blade video or whatever you always see the people doing slices, man, with the paper. This is so freaking annoying. When you do want to do a, a cut test, you just do a push cut. Please do a push cut, man. This is a real testament to the blade if the blade is sharp. So you just push it. Push it. And you just move down the blade. You just move down the blade. So push cut every time. So just moving down the blade. So this is what you need to do to uh, do a real cut test to see if the blade is sharp or not, so um, I'm just going to take that out of the way without cutting myself, hopefully. So um, this is my M-Tech, a really nice blade for the money. If you don't have a lot of money, you want a good fixed blade, uh, this one is the way to go. Uh, another one that's not a lot of money and it's a good fixed blade is the Condor Kamanga, which uh, as of now, between the Kamanga and the Sog Jungle Canopy, uh, the Sog is taking number one spot for the 10 inch blade, so I uh, just really love that one if you guys saw my batoning video between the I know I know the angle wasn't the the best one because of the camera I had the flip I couldn't see the viewfinder so I don't have the best uh, batoning angles and you guys can't see the swing fully but a uh, really good blade for the money the SOG but the Kamanga is equally as good and uh, you know I think it's as strong or if not stronger than the canopy Actually, I think they might be equally strong, you know, so the ATR 13 MOV versus uh, 1075, it's your preference, but this one I beat the hell out of it and it still does a really excellent job, so I'm um, just going to show you guys sharpness uh, doing a push cut, so uh, this is after I worked on it with my workshop a little bit, so tip of the blade, oops, take it fresh, you have to go at an angle so to, to cut the paper, so. So tip of the blade, a little bit of work needs to be done there, going down the line. So as you guys can see, you have to do push cuts. So push it, push it, so push cut. So the tip of the blade, well, depends where, but I still need to do a little bit of cleanup on there with a work sharp. So just a little bit of cleanup. So I'll put that back here. I'm going to try to go a little bit faster for the rest of the blade. So I'm now let's go with the SOG Jungle. So this one I did come quite a lot of work and after I've been doing, uh, you know, batoning and doing videos with it, I resharpened this puppy up uh, really good. So as you guys can tell, I'm going to do a little push cut, tip of the blade. So a little bit further down the blade, 
a little bit further down the blade, further down the blade, further down the blade, further down the blade. So, as you guys can see, this thing is sharp. And once I've, I'm done with it, because from the factory, this thing did not come sharp. But once I sharpen it with a work sharp, this thing is, you know, a beast. I mean, to, to tell you guys the truth, you buy the two of these, the Kamanga and the Sock Jungle, and you guys are going to just see the difference immediately. I mean, this thing is going to be way better to chop, better to baton, just better in general. So the grip is just a little bit more comfortable, uh, maybe a couple of hot spots on the grip, but, you know, you can get some hot spots on the, uh, on the condor as well. So I'm just going to move down the line. My Barong, this is the one I use versus my Kershaw Cam. The other one here is brand new, never used, so I'm just gonna show you guys from the tip. Moving down the line. So push cut. You gotta do a push cut, guys, all over the place. Don't slice because you can take a butter knife and slice almost the same, so this is something that's really annoying. Uh, the second barong, this is the one that's brand new, never used. I don't think I sharpened it, this one at all. Um, I have to stand up a little bit because I'm getting a little tired and it's a crouch, it's just squatting down. So From the tip of the blade, uh, this is I think from Condor directly, the, the uh, blade that came sharp. So tip of the blade, a little bit of tearing on the tip of the blade, so I might have to do a little bit of work on this one. But the rest of the blade though, As you guys can see, so whenever I want to get a fresh piece of paper, that's what I do right here. So, so as you guys can see, this thing is sharp. So, um, right out of the box. So from Condor. So Condor usually puts out a quote, and some, sometimes they get a little bit of issue on the blades, but nothing that just putting the six thousand grit uh, belt on the work sharp and just doing a little polish won't fix. So. Usually, so sometimes you have to work a little bit harder with it, but uh, so this is my favorite fixed blade right now, the Kershaw Camp 14, so uh, 1076. This thing is just, it's a beast. I mean, for chopping, for slicing, for batoning, I mean, this thing is just, it didn't let me down yet, so no damage on the edge. Uh, you know, I put it back on the workshop after I'm done with it, so let's go from the tip of the blade. Go down the line. So a little bit of tear up, so I'm high, might have to do a little bit of work, you know, just putting the 6000 grit, just doing a little polish on the edge, which I might do after this uh, video. So. so push cut, guys. When you're doing a cut test, please do a push cut. You know, this is so much simpler, and yeah, I get paper everywhere, so I'm gonna have to take <laughs> Take the vacuum out after that and just vacuum a little bit. So, Kershot 1076 camp, my favorite of all, you know, knives right here. So, I think it fills perfectly the role between a big blade and a machete. So, it's just an in between that's pretty good. So, how much time I got in this video? Eight minutes. I'm gonna have to speed things up for the rest. So, um, uh, Condor El Salvador machete in 420HC. Uh, so this one I used up and I touched it up on the work sharp. So um, I keep this one in my car by the way, so in case I need a big blade to do some cutting. Tip of the blade. Going down the line. So all the way to the back of the blade. So as you guys can see, pretty sharp. Um, the other one is brand new. I don't think I touch up the edge on this one. Let's see if I get a fresh piece of paper here. So, from the tip of the blade. Moving down the line to the back of the blade. So, uh, hope I'm in the frame doing that. I'm gonna have to review the video before I upload it. So, uh, a little bit of snag, so that's just the one or two spots because I use that one. So might have a little bit of, you know, just a little bit of, on the six thousand. So uh, I really love these these blades, and I got these ones for I think below twenty dollars. Uh, back in the day when they just sold the the machete itself, 
without the um, without the sheet. So uh, really good deal back in the day on life, on uh, going gear, which I got those blades, those two, uh, those three. Actually, all my condors I think I got from going gear. So uh, thumbs up going gear, right? Uh, the only thing is these two are 420 HC, and when I placed the order for uh, for these machetes, these El Salvador, um, the pri the I mean the blade that I received, there are, uh, I ordered some 1075, and uh, I received the 420 HC, which I didn't complain back in the day because you know the 420 HC is more expensive, so I didn't want to pay for shipping the return in and get a brand new one, so you know. This isn't the, the the two that I ordered, and the first time I received the 420 HC, I said, "All right, you know, I'll place another order for another one because it's cheap. It was uh, 18 bucks, I think. So uh, I placed another order, and the second one was a 420 HC as well. I said, "What the fuck, dude? They got some trouble in their inventory." But uh, the second one I received with the letter sheet. So uh, do I got this thing right somewhere around here? So yeah, it's right here. So. I received a letter sheet with that one, so uh, you know this is a really good deal because this was worth eighty dollars even back in the day on sale. So uh, eighty dollar for twenty dollars, good deal any day. So um, and thing is, I would have liked to get the uh, eight uh, the ten seventy five version, but you know I got my Barong that are ten seventy five, so can't go wrong with that one. Uh, the Barong, just a little note um, between these two. I know this is going to be a long video, well, 11 minutes. Uh, as you guys can see, the brass, the one's got a brass pin and the other one's got an aluminum pin, so a little bit of difference. Uh, the blade geometry is a little bit diff different. Uh, the, the, uh, the One of the blades is a little bit longer, and in the hands, there's a little bit of difference. So the stock, I think, is a little bit thicker, too, for one of, one of these two, so uh, just a little bit thicker, so uh, it's kind of weird. A little bit of inconsistency in the blades, but um, if I sell one of these two, I don't know if I'm gonna sell them because I love my barong. But if I sell them, um, you know, I, I might have to watch which one I'm, I'm gonna sell between these two. So, uh, moving up in the line, I'm gonna take myself a fresh piece of paper, and I'm gonna get myself the El Salvador Light Eco Light Machete. So this thing is just light and nimble in the hand. This is 1075, thankfully. Uh, I finally got myself a 1075 machete, even though it's not super thick and you can't be as versatile uh, as the other ones with it. Uh, for cutting light brushes, just small tree branch and stuff, this thing slices through like butter. The first time I received this machete out of package, it just cut me. So this thing is pretty sharp out of box. So this is still out of box sharpness. I never touched it up. So uh, we'll cut this beginning of the blade, middle, going down the line. Going down the line, down the line, down the line. As you guys can see, push cut, guys. Push cut when you're doing a cut test, please. Um, you know, nice little machete. Uh, starting to get a little bit of rust, I think, on it. I'm gonna have to oil that blade up. But I never oiled that blade, and I get a hum humidifier in my room, so and I keep that in my room in one of my drawers. So uh, not bad for 1075. I might have to do a little uh, bit of spray detailer like I did on my sock jungle canopy on the blade so next one is gonna be the shindy machete which is something that you can find everywhere under different name different brands uh, it's just your basic style of katana ninja style machete or you know sword whatever so I did bend that one up but I did straighten it back up pretty good I don't know if you guys can tell but it's got a little bit of bend in it so but I did fix it up quite nicely, so I don't know if you guys can tell that. Anyways, let's see for sharpness. I did use that and I didn't resharpen it, but the first edge that comes with it is scrap. So this is, um, you know, with my work charted, I did some work on it, not a whole lot of it. So as you guys can see, a little bit of tearing there, so that's not good. Going down the blade. Now, this is where I chopped the most with it, so I never, you know, touched it up afterwards. So, this is where I actually sharpen with the work sharp. Let's try to go up one more time on the blade.
yeah you see where I have to do some uh, some touch up on the blade on this one but this thing I paid twenty dollars for it and you know I'm kind of disappointed because it doesn't really do anything it doesn't chop it doesn't cut it doesn't doesn't really do anything so uh, as for piercing well never tried piercing anything too much with it uh, like I said the blade there's no real temper on it it's gonna flex a little bit but um, the temper if you hit a tree on the you know wrong side of the tree or something you get a bad angle and it's easy to get a bad, bad angle uh, you're just gonna warp the blade and you're just gonna bend it so I had to smack the tree meant to rebend it the other way so <laughs> probably gonna sell that thing for I don't know 10 15 dollars so might make some kid happy you never know so for the tomahawk last part I'm just going to show you guys the sharpness on the MK48, which I did use and I didn't touch up. But as you guys can see, I did do a grind with the, a uh, little bit of a grind with the uh, Work Sharp. I love the Work Sharp, man. I just wish I had the money for the Ken Onion. It just went up in price. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Just went up in price at my local shop for, um, uh, for, for, I think, 40 bucks, 50 bucks. It jumped up in price. Uh, so, uh, man, I should have bought it back when it was on sale. Uh, the Can Onion Edition is something I really want to try out to see if the uh, the abrasives and the angle, you could really get more out of your edge, you know, than the regular work sharp. So let's just do a little cut there, just for the hell of it. Not bad for a tomahawk, right? Doing some push cut on paper. So, not bad. Uh, I still need to touch up the edge a little bit on that one and the, the um, Smith Wisson I can show you guys real quick but it's not gonna do anything because I didn't you know sharpen sharpen up the edge and I'm gonna sharpen up the edge before doing some testing so I can get some accurate representation of what the blade can do well not bad you can slice there Now the blade isn't bad, but I'm gonna put on a work sharp uh, just to uh, to get a good representation of uh, how the blade performs uh, out of the box. So I'm gonna sharpen that up a little bit. Maybe put it on a six thousand to start to see if I get some some good result. Now I'm gonna have to do some cleaning up because it's there's a lot of junk everywhere. So um, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, you know if you got any questions. Uh, you want to know a little bit more about the blade? A little bit. You want to see one a little bit more in detail? Uh, just send me a message. And, uh, just you know, say it in the comments, and you know, I'll get back to you on that, and maybe make another video. So, uh, just a little quick recap. Uh, my favorite blade right now is the Kershaw Camp 14. Uh, second favorite on the you know bigger blades, Barong. Between the 10 inches, I like the Sog Jungle Canopy better. After that is the uh, Condor Kamanga, which my, was my first blade in the beginning, but now the SOG just took took it over, you know, the SOG is just a little bit better. So now I'm going to end the video because it's fucking 18 minutes and I keep blabbering and just talking about blades and man, I could do that forever, I love blades. So this is my collection for now and I got some more coming in the future, another folder, another fixed blade from, you know, an M-Tech clone, so... Hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, you know, little uh, information video slash blade porn, which I like to call it. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you guys on the next one.